so today session today session will be on pivot tables pivot tables many people think that it's very advanced complex or very difficult to work on that i'll tell you one thing pivot tables are very very easy first you should understand what is this pivot table and then you should start working on that pivot table is nothing but it's just a summarized table of the data what we have i have a data i need to summarize and get some reports to summarize reports that's all what all uh, we can do in pivot table i'll just open one file a simple file and then we'll go for more complex examples so when i say i have a data that means it will be a raw data which is not summarized first you should understand the data and then we can summarize based on the data i have let's say for example if you see here i have a data say region product say customer sales rep sales and date this is the data what i have i need to get a summarized report summarized reports in the sense say i want to get for this region if i go and filter this say data and i'll say filter i have four regions here for this four regions what is the total sales i have for each region one way is i can use sum if function and then i can create the summarized reports but what if i want to um, say you know uh, create the report quickly so for this this pivot table uh, is very much useful for creating the summarized reports quickly so how to do this first thing is let me remove this filter first what we are doing is we are just trying to create a simple pivot table i have a data here and then keep my cursor anywhere in the table but few things you should actually keep in mind the data what i have it will be having some heading so in pivot table when i'm creating a pivot table make sure that there is a heading the heading every column every field should have the heading suppose if one of the field is not have heading then the pivot table will throw error so you should compulsorily have heading for all the fields for which you are trying to create pivot table right this is one thing second thing is you can have blanks in a row but make sure if there is a blank then you are selecting the complete table like this and then creating the pivot table otherwise it might take only this much of data that is when you are going and selecting here only this data will be selected so these things you should actually keep in mind blank can be there in the record or say row but not in the columns right now if you have a complete table like this when i say complete table that means it should not have any blank space in the middle now let me select this and i'll say insert here i have something called as pivot table let me click on this pivot table just click here it will ask select a table or range i'll have a table or range here it will give me the address that is the table address the array address completely here automatically it will select now here it says new sheet existing worksheet i'll select new worksheet this is recommended always because this is going to create a new worksheet for us you can create existing worksheet when you feel that the data is not going to change it's a static data then you can go and create your pivot table somewhere within the sheet itself but otherwise it's a good practice to have a new worksheet so that you are not going to disturb the data and the pivot table i'll say okay a new worksheet will be created done a table is created this most of you will be knowing this just go select create pivot table and a pivot table is created so most of you would have already worked in this simple pivot table but otherwise also just um, you know go to this insert and click on this pivot table i'll get this table now let's understand what are these uh, pivot table objects will have one is the placeholder we call this as placeholder where i'll be getting the summarized report here i have pivot table fields all the fields whatever is there in the table that will be available here these are the fields if you come down here i have four boxes these four boxes will include the page filter the column headers then the row headers and the value field here so what does this do let's go and check here see click outside 
the pivot table field will disappear again i'll go and click on this see i'll get this now let me take this region drag it and i'll drop it here see just place it anywhere anywhere in the four fields you can put let's first understand the fields one by one i placed it here in region see done next what i'll do see what it is doing it is giving me four regions four regions in the sense this is actually region one region two region three region four that is it is summarized it is aggregate means it is grouped let's go and select this sales and i'll put it in values if you see here it is getting summarized aggregated here it is getting grouped here it is getting aggregated you could uh, uh, relate this to our uh, previous uh, sessions that is grouping and outline where we could group all the data here so what it is doing it is it is grouping here by the data what we have here and then it is giving me the summarized report if you go to our uh, uh, say uh, what is that uh, grouping and outline so what was happening there we had to sort the column and then only i used to get the reports if i'm not sorting what will happen the unique value wherever till the common values are there it will give me the uh, group and again it will create one more group but if you go and check this here you don't have to sort what it will do is the common values will be grouped and it will give me this summarized reports this is called as pivot table now what you see here that is all pivot table but for creating reports i should understand what all things i should keep adding now let's say here i added some of sales for this say region now i want a summarized report for product not for region just drag it and remove it that's it now i'll drag this product and i'll put it here now i got the report for product now let me remove this i'll take customer type so i can take any columns and i can drag and drop here so that i'll get the result the summarized reports here fine now can i take this to another sheet or say another uh, template yes you can copy this let me just copy this and go here i'll create one more sheet while pasting don't say control v if i say control v another pivot table will be copied here but for me i want only the values then you can go back to our previous session that is paste special values say alt e s and i'll say values say okay see i'll get the value only value here, that is summarized value here fine let's come back to our pivot table again right this is for only one field and one calculator this uh, value field next what i'll do i want the summarized report for a region with product then what i'll do is i'll take this product and i'll drag and drop here see now i got this say region within that i have this product now i have one minus sign here there's a box with minus sign click on this see this is the hierarchical report see now if you see it says four five six the row number if i just go and click on this plus mark see it will expand now this galaxy which was in fifth row it will go to eighth row that means automatically it will give me this row here now what you see here is this i have this say uh, customer type and here i have this product and then here i have the individual uh, say what is this product value for each category type here this customer type if you add these values see i'll get seven double two three seven four i'll get this value here that means it is summarizing here let me click on this plus mark see now can i copy this yes this also i can copy and i'll paste it in this sheet i'll paste it as values now you see what will happen when i paste it can you see this now what happened here i have a customer type and then here i have these products again customer type and here i have this three products and then customer type this is little difficult for me to understand because all the values of both the fields are in the same column let's go back what if i will keep this in two different columns that will be still better so for that what i should do i say select here i want this to be say customer type in one column and product in another column let me select this go to this analyze and design there are two contextual tabs which will come when i create this pivot table see let me click outside that will disappear when i click here see these two tabs will appear now what i'll do is i'll go to this design if you go to this design i can change the design the format of this now if you go here see i have this layout there are 
four different options subtotal grand total report layout and blank rows let's click on this report layout when i click on this report layout i have different form of reports what i can change the table here say i want this to be as a tabular form i'll click on this just click on this tabular form see i'll get customer type in one column and product in another column now what i'll do let me copy this and i'll paste it here just next to it yes it got pasted but here again there is a problem can you see this i have a blank rows here so here it should fill say enterprise enterprise i can go it and i can do it manually copy and paste like this but if there are more records like this more fields like this then it will be too much uh, you know uh, work for me to keep doing manually so how will i actually fill this value i need to fill these blank values here so for that again select here go to this design here click on this report layout again i have repeat all items do not repeat all items so what will happen is by default here the values will not be repeated now let me select this i'll go here design i'll say repeat all items yes all the items are repeated now now let me copy this and i'll go here let me just paste it next to this values see all the values are repeated i am showing this just to understand how the report will come so it's not that uh, every time when i create a pivot table you have to copy and, and paste it somewhere i'm just showing you how the reports if i copy and paste will look now here i'm getting this enterprise is total year total these are called as subtotal i don't want this subtotal let's go back the subtotal will come automatically by default when i'm actually dragging and dropping more than one field see now suppose if i remove this product i'll not get that subtotal then i go and click on this product see it's coming automatically let me select one more let's say i'll take this sales rep and i'll put it here see i'll get let me remove this and say do not repeat this will be more easy for you see enterprise then i have this product and then sales rep here you can see the subtotal for this that is for each product i have subtotal then there will be a subtotal for each customer type so likewise whenever you keep dragging and dropping here i'll be keep getting the subtotal let me take out this uh, sales rep now i don't want this subtotal i'll go to design anything if you want to modify in this pivot table modification of the pivot table the design go directly to design see here i have few designs which you can work on it see report layout i'll go here i'll say repeat all items it is repeating now i don't want the subtotal i'll go to the subtotal here first it will say do not show subtotals show all subtotals at bottom of the group show all subtotals at top of the group let's understand this first here the subtotal is in bottom now if you think that i want on top let go here and say on top right let me just go here i'll add one more sales rep and then remove this right now let me go here i'll say show all subtotals at top of the group and then say bottom of the group so this will actually change the location of the total right let me go here and here i'll say do not show see no nowhere i'll get the subtotals let me remove this let me start sales rep right now let me copy this and then i'll paste it here see now i don't have the subtotal i have only this one if you want to repeat i can just go here i'll say repeat let's take this design and here i'll say layout repeat all items so you just you can go here to design this just to modify the layouts that's all nothing to do with the calculations the view all right now i have this grand total now i don't want this grand total let me go here say grand total here i have rows and columns so here what total we have is for each column this one then i can have row total here I, i'll show you that also now let this grand total be there here i'll show you how the row grand total will be uh, available here that will come when when i have a matrix now i have this customer type product 
and I have the data for each customer type then each product I have the data here let me take this product and I'll put it in column just see the table how it get converts see now if you see this the product names will come here the customer type is here now you see this automatically the grand total came when I'm putting this here the grand total will not come the reason is I have only one column so I'm not getting the grand total because this itself is a grand total let me select this I'll take this product and I'll put it here see this will become like a matrix now I can copy this I can paste it here see my table looks like this right the same data what you see here it is just um, you know converted like a matrix where I have the customer type here and the product names here with grand total I don't want the grand total I'll go here just say design grand total say off remove it see I don't have grand total for columns as well as rows now let's go here I want <coughs> grand total for only rows see I'm sorry here only rows see only row grand total will come I want only for column then I'll get here I'll not get the total here so you can specify the design however you want that is as I told you this can be designed however you want let's say I want for both click on this usually I'll make it as off so that I'll get the summarized data with a proper table like this that is all pivot table just drag and drop keep dragging and dropping I'll get the summarized reports fine what else we can do in this I'll show you now what we did is we learned about the rows the column headers and then the fields here right now what we'll do we'll also see what does this field do what this field will do is let me make it a little more simple for you see I have the data here like this this is summarized report for each customer type I'll take a region and I'll put it here in the page filter this is called as page filters I'll drop it now what you see here one filter I got which is outside table what we have now if you go and check this see I have all the regions here with the data like what we had previously what's the use of this I'll show you see I'm creating one report this is for all the regions if this is not there it is like no filters it is taking for all the regions let me take this region I'll put it in page filter now if you go and check this see I'll say East now what report I'm getting is only for East I can select any of this see fine now this is actually used for filtering the entire table entire pivot table what we have created this can be used for multiple columns like this also see I'll go here I'll say on I'll get data I'll continue so I was talking about this summarized uh, reports here and I can go and select any of the regions here like this right now this is for single selection what if I want to do reports for multiple regions then if you go here say I'm doing a report where I need to uh, group it for East and North so for that see one is East and I'm selecting this North uh, but I want for East and North both for that I have one selection here say select multiple items just click on this see I'll get a checkbox now let me select this east and north see that means this total what I'm getting here is for east plus north both right but here it will say multiple items right now we learned about how to get all you know page filter row uh, row headers column headers and values fine this is for the text part let me remove this product let's keep it little simple uh, you know table here I have a date here what this date will do date will actually have some you know the date of uh, say the line items here for each date whatever the sales has been done here I have this 2008 data and somewhere it will be like 2009 or whatever let me go here now what will happen if I take this date into consideration with this bio table just say Take this date and I'll put it here. See, I got a grouped data for 2008 and 2009. Here the data is totally different. It says 1 1 2008 or 2009, whatever. So I have two years data. It says 2008 and 2009. Now I can see that plus mark here. That means it is actually grouped. Now let me click on this. 
I'm trying to expand this. See, now it is going to quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Fine. Let me click on this. See, I have this January, February, March. So it is hierarchical uh, data where I have this month, then it is grouping based on the quarter, and then it is grouping based on year as well. Now suppose if I go here, click on this. See, I'll get the yearly report here. But I want only the month data. I don't want this year or quarter. What you do is just go to this column anywhere, right click. Here I have something called as group. So what will happen? Any see this data is also grouped. Like it is grouped by each values. Now let me select this. I'll say group. I'll get a set of groups here. See, like this. Now if you want only by month, remove this. Remove this. Say okay. See the data. What you see here. Is grouped by month. You can change it anytime you want. So right click, say group, and say I want it by years. Now only years is there because I'm not selected the other hierarchy. Now I'll go here, select year as month. Say okay. See now, if you go and click on this, I have 2008, 2009. If you want to see the data by month, just click on this. I'll get the result like this. Now what you should actually keep in mind. Why I've taken this example is. When you are actually grouping by year, you should be very, very careful because I'll show you how the data works in date. Let me go to this group. Now I'll just take only month and I'll say, okay, see here the dates are grouped by month, but keep in mind this January is combination of 2008 and 2009. So you should be very careful when you are taking this pivot table uh, with date field. So what you see here is. 2008 plus 2009. It is not just 2008 or 2009. It is both. But I want the report for uh, the separate years. Then I have to think about giving the hierarchy. But now what I am seeing here is by January, February, March of all the years what we have in that table. Fine. Let me go here. So right click, just select, right click, and say group. Now if I go here and say year, see, now this will be by year, like this. So you have to decide what kind of report I need, and then only you should start creating the pivot table. It should not be like just drag and drop. Pivot table is drag and drop, but there should be some meaningful drag and drop. So which field I should drag? If I drop, so what is the report I'm getting? So that you should always think, right? Okay. So this is all for date. So date you'll have to think about how the date is grouped. That's all. Just drag and drop, like what we drag and drop the other fields. But you should be very, very careful about what uh, you know the hierarchy I'm creating here, what uh, selections I'm doing here. See, I want quarterly report. Just select here again. This is quarter one for 2008 and 2009. Okay, fine. So let me remove this state. What happened to this? Uh, um, say, if, uh, you know, the field uh, uh, selection. If it is not there, don't uh, worry. Right click, say show field list. That's all. If you don't have this, by mistake, if you have closed, if you click here, it will not come. So don't worry. Right click and say show field list. And again, see one more thing. When I click outside, this field list will not be there. See, it will go. This will appear only when I'm selecting the pivot table. Still, if you're not getting this, don't worry. See, I'm not getting right click and say show field list. Fine. Okay. Let me remove this date. I have this customer type, I have the sum of sales, and here I have the region. Fine. I have this sum of sales. I want this to be average. I don't want this to be sum. I want I want to do analysis. I want to get the average in my pivot table. What I'll do, I'll go here. Just double click on this field, or you have a small arrow mark here. Click on this and say value field settings. Fine. Otherwise, right click and say value field settings. Sorry. Right click and say value field settings. Anything is fine. The easiest way is double click on this. Directly you'll go here. Otherwise, right click value field settings, or Go to this field here. Go to this arrow and say value field settings. Fine. See here it says sum of sales. Can you see this? I have so many you know functions here. I'll select average. Say okay. See this will get converted to average. Now any field should drag and drop. Say I'll take this put product here. So this will be the average for enterprise glue guns or galaxy for this. So selected fields. This will get converted to uh, say what is that average of sales. Like this we can change. The calculations as well. Fine. Let me remove this product. Let's make it simple. See, we understood how to change the 
functions here right so we understood how to drag and drop the fields and we understood all the four uh, fields what we have here and we also saw how to change the functions how to create metrics how to change the layouts here going to this design right now let me create some more uh, fields here and just explain a few things so here i have this row headers so what uh, what is this this is the row headers i can just format this is just you know left to you how you will format banded rows means like this in uh, the previous session we saw this alternative rows uh, highlighting see here like this banded columns means the columns like this let me take one product and i'll put it here see like this i'll remove this banded rows now we'll see like this alternative columns like this also you can do suppose if you want to make your table colorful you can go here you can select here so i have so many designs select this i'll get the format immediately right let me remove all these columns so i always prefer a simple uh, you know my table so that it will be easy for me to explain but once it become bigger table then you can uh, you know keep adding uh, the tables and make it a uh, uh, more complex right now i have this a table i have a page filter here now what will happen let's say i'm doing some analysis on this customer type i want something similar table for my product so what i'll do i'll just copy this instead of creating one more product table i'll just copy it and i'll put it here and i will remove this customer type and i'll take this product and i'll put it here done okay let me select this and i can um, let's make it single only i'll say east here also we'll just change this to single selection i'll say east see i have two different pivot table i'm selecting east here i'm getting the data for east and here also i'm getting data for east let me go here i'll say north now this is not changing now i want this also to be changed i'll go here i'll say north every time i have to go and then suppose only two tables are there fine if there are five six tables everywhere i have to go and keep changing this say north 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 all the uh, say pivot tables instead of this we have something called as slicer which is a fancy way of filtering your data together with all the pivot tables aligned to that slicer how to do this what is this slicer i'll show you slicers are nothing but again i'm telling you it's a fancy way of filtering your tables the pivot tables let me close this i've selected this let me go to this analyze when i say analyze here i have something called as insert slicer again i'll select here insert slicer see i'll get all the fields to create the slicers let's say i've taken this region you can take any number of slicers i'll show you one click on this region and say okay see i'll get a kind of buttons here let me click here like this fine now if i go and select this east see this is getting filtered see and you can see that page filter is also getting the filter but what i told you if i insert slicer i told all the pivot tables which are created will be filtering but what's happening here see only this table is filtering that means my requirement is still not solved if i click on the say for example i'm creating a dashboard like this so people think that this itself is a dashboard they'll have one buttons like this and they'll say okay i'll click on this north all the uh, tables should get filtered so what i'll do if this is not getting filtered so don't have to worry i'll tell you what to do for that what you do is if at all i'm creating a i mean a slicer by selecting after creating the table after i created this table then i'm creating this uh, say slicer just right click here to scroll down somewhere here see i have this report connections again i'll show you select this pivot table uh, this slicer right click and say report connection i'll get all the pivot tables created in this particular workbook not only the sheet all the pivot tables in the workbook will be shown here now can you see that it is connected to pivot table one let me select this see pivot table three i'll say okay now you just see what will happen can you see that best best see that means when you are actually creating a pivot table many pivot tables and all the 
values has to be changed together all the pivot table values should be changed together then what i'll do is i'll go to this show list i'll remove this i don't want this because anyways that page filter is not serving my purpose of filtering all the data now you just see east north south west this is called as slicers can i add more slicers yes you can add more slicers let's go here again i'll select this right click or say you can go here say analyze say insert slicer let me take um we'll take the sales rep because you've already taken customer type and product here i'll take sales rep say okay see i'll keep it here i'll reduce this like this now you say click on this oh only this table is getting filtered so what should i do again right click say report connection and then i'll say select this right that's it see i can go and i can click here like this fine now can i design this see here i have this blue color shading here i have this orange color shading can i do this again it's left to you go to option here i have so many designing options you can select this see like this when you are creating some dashboards you can just a quick dashboards by creating this slicer you can do it this is called a slicer but in 2013 version and above there is one more option which got insert i mean uh, implemented that is insert timeline so what is this insert timeline this insert timeline see this is slicer the timeline what you have here this is used only for date columns date fields let me select here and say you know see this i have only date let me select this and say okay this is exactly like your slicer what you have but this is only for date can you see this i have this date let me scroll here see click on this this is only for january i'll go here i'll say year see 2008 2009 suppose if you want by quarters see here this is by quarters quarter one quarter two like this this is not getting changed why because again right click report connection select this say okay see like this so these are slicers and say timelines very nicely we created uh, the pivot table we understood a lot of things everything is fine then what is the problem what is the mistake what we are doing in our pivot table here let's go back to the data we understood the pivot table we created very nice pivot table but what we did was the static means only for this range what if tomorrow the data gets added here let's say i'll go here i'll try to add some data here let's say i'll copy this i'll paste it below and i'll make this as northeast let me copy this down and here if you want to get this data the newly added data i should right click and say refresh it is not refreshing it is showing me the same result here uh, go here and say pivot table options or we can go here to this analyze and say here change source data see it is still taking till wherever we had taken previously see we had this the new data is actually not taken or you can see here we added north east it's not coming here see it is not coming here or if you want you can just go here and we can pull that field itself say region and put it here and check more filters okay. just try to select all see i cannot see that northeast here because sorry because the data what is there it is still not refreshed it is taking the data till wherever we are taken in the previous selections if you want to do this let me remove this if you want to add that data also one way is let me select this i'll say analyze data and say change data source i'll go and click on this here i need to select completely like this manually and say okay let me remove this it's what it is doing is it is trying to update this it is not taking here okay let me delete all this i'll make it first simple let's go here i 
let me refresh the data see now if you go i will take this region and if i put it here and remove this customer type now you can see this northeast previously it was not taking means i need to always whenever i add new data keep changing this it change data source and i have to change this but every time i cannot do this every time i cannot keep going and saying uh, you know uh, do it manually so how to do that how to do it dynamically i'll show you this how to make this dynamically so have the practice like this if you think that the data is getting updated every time then whatever i'm showing now use that option if you think that the data is not going to change it's a static till now whatever we did that is the option you can use the same thing but if you think that the data is getting updated the data is getting changed always so what you have to do is let me just remove that northeast we'll add it again later i'm just removing this okay just to show you guys how it works yes i removed the data i'll create a pivot table for the same range but a new pivot table will create let me select this i'll go to this insert and here i have this pivot table if i click on this what will happen i'll get the pivot table here again it says can you see this it says range what i'll do now is i'll not take this i'll click anywhere in the table here go to this insert and here i have something called as table so what this table will do is it will convert this range the range what we have here to a table let me click here see it is selecting automatically and say my table as headers say okay so this will get converted to table now here it asks for a name say table one i'll go here i'll say el data i'm just trying to change this so that it will be easy for you to recognize what table i'm actually working on let's go to this insert and now i'll create a pivot table just see i created one table and i renamed it as tbl data now i'll say pivot table now it'll not give me the range it will give me the table name what i've created fine same thing i'll say okay rest all is same no changes so i'll go here i'll select this region and i'll select the sales so let it be like this now let me go and change or say add the data let me just take a few data like this let me take the data and i'll paste it here and i'll make it as northeast we changed the previously what we did we added and when you go to this pivot table i just uh, uh, you know uh, right click and say refresh i didn't get that northeast now let me go here this is the table what i created by using um, uh, what is that uh, the table name that is the table what i've created right click and say refresh where is that refresh here see automatically it came fine let me go back let me add one more region here just i'll take only this much we'll make it as southeast just a name i'll give to show you guys t i added one more region i'll go here see you don't have to again go and change here see otherwise i have to go here say change row source and we have to do this so what i'll do right click and i'll say refresh see so two ways you can do one is by range one is by table i can use range when i feel that the data is static that is it is not going to change so don't think about the table directly you can go and you can create the table what we created here fine next if you think that the data is getting updated automatically i mean sorry uh, data is getting uh, you know added every uh, every day or say every week or every month so don't go with the static options that is fixed selection fixed selection here like this the range so what you do you have to go here create one table so that it will become easy for me just right click and say refresh your data is getting refreshed you're getting the latest data what you have updated here and keep in mind until unless you right click and say refresh the data what you're getting updated here in this table will not be refreshed here the reason is the complete data whatever is there that will go and sit in a cache memory and that cache memory will help me in creating this table here so the table what i'm getting here not directly from this table it will have a cache memory from there your table is getting created that means when i'm updating anything here in this pivot table it is taking the data from the cache memory so it is nothing to do with this table now 
But when I update this and if I right click and say refresh, so what will happen is the, the data in the memory will be again replaced with this data and from there the table is getting created. Right? Okay. This is the pivot tables. Now let's go to this and we'll create a pivot chart. Okay. Don't think about the chart. Chart will discuss completely in depth in our next session. But I'll just tell you how the pivot charts can be created. Let's go to this insert. Here I have this pivot chart. Click on this pivot chart automatically. I'll just select a basic chart. Okay, so don't uh, you know think that I don't know how to create chart. What are charts? I'm just selecting one uh, any any chart. So what is the advantage of this? See here what I'll do. I'll go here select this. I'll say insert. <coughs> Sorry, we'll go to analyze and we'll say insert slicer. We'll take a product. Say okay. See, let me put it here. Click on this. See, the chart will get updated like this. So likewise, we can uh, use this for creating a small uh, quick dashboards like this. Um, uh, in our dashboard session, we'll have a session uh, in depth of uh, these things as well. How to create, uh, um, you know, advanced uh, say slicers and charts and all those things. But if you want to create a slicer with this chart and try to filter it, you can do like this. Suppose if you want to insert, um, say what is the timeline, you can still do that as well. Go here. I'll take on timeline. Let's see, I can create something like this. Okay, fine. So this is what we have in the pivot table that is for one sheet data. That is, I have only one sheet. I created the data. But guys, now we have something called as power pivots as well, wherein I can take multiple sheets and create the data. What does that mean? Let me go here. I'll select, I'll open one file with the multiple sheets. Okay, if you go here and see, see, I have a table here with business unit, general ID, account number, invoice number, and then currency ID with account, uh, per, you know, the amount, and then we have this department number. Here I don't have any names, I have only IDs. If I create a pivot table only on this table, I'll be creating. That is the data what I have. Let me go to this department. Here what I have. Here I have the department ID with the department name. Now let me go back to the sheet and see. See, I have this department ID. I don't have the department name. Suppose if you want to create a report with department name, that is how much of amount I've spent for each department. I can get only this department. See, I'll go here. I'll create a pivot table quickly. Say okay. I'll go here. I'll say department, right? And then I'll take this amount and I'll put it here. If you go and check this, can you see this? It is giving me only department ID. It is not giving me the department name. I cannot take the department name in this because it is not there. One way is what I can do. I can go and I can say we look up and take all the data from this department table, put it here, and then create the reports. But that will take a lot of time. Instead, now we have an option of connecting all the sheets, different sheets and create the reports. How to do that? I'll tell you. This is again, it is same pivot table what we discussed. Same way we are creating the pivot table, but a slight change will be there. Only slight change, okay? Don't think that it's very advanced. Nothing like that. It is very simple. I'll show you how to do that. But only one step you'll have to learn. That is, you're trying to create relationship between all these sheets what we have. To create the pivot table from different sheets just a relationship you have to create how to do that i'll tell you first thing what you should do is if you are trying to create a relationship between different sheets and creating a pivot table from different sheet first thing is create a table like what we did in just few minutes back we discussed about creating this table likewise whichever data whichever range you are trying to create a pivot table with connected relationship, then I'll create one table here like this. Just click on this, say, okay. This will get converted to table. Now here I'll have the table name. The good practice is name the table so that you'll know which table you're trying to create the relationship to which other table. I'll make it as table main. Let's assume that this is my main table. 
I'll go to this department. I'll convert this also into table. So the shortcut key is Control T. You can just say Control T, or you can click on this. See, this should be selected my table as headers. I'll say okay. This is converted to table. Next, let's go and take this account details. I'll say insert table again my table as headers. I'll say okay. Branch name. I will take this also. Insert my table as headers enough we'll take some three tables otherwise it will be too much i have a main table you can see this i've created department this still says table 2 i'll say tbl let's say tp let's select this account details i'll name this as tbl acc okay just a short name branch name say tbl brnch right i named First, I created the table, then I named all the tables. Now we'll see how we can create the relationship. First, what we'll do, we'll go here, select the main table, okay? The which table you're trying to create a pivot table, go to this insert and here I'll say pivot table. The same thing what we did previously for a single sheet. Say pivot table. Now here, it will give me the table name. It'll say new sheet. Now what we should do is there is one option called as add this data to data model. Select this and say okay. It will take some time because it is trying to create a data model. It will take some time. So once it is created, it will give me the same kind of pivot table placeholder what we had see. But here you can see a slight difference. Previously it has Let's go and check this. See in this pivot table. In the pivot table, what we had created here, right click, show list. See the layout. I have only one sheet, that's it. But here it is assuming that it will have, you know, multiple tables. Here I have one arrow mark. Click on this. See, I'll get something like this. Now, still, we have not added the other tables to my pivot table here. How to add that? See, here I have this active, that means. I have created pivot table only for this active table here what we have created now next to that i have this all just click on that all see i'll get all the tables for which we have created names see if you go here account branch department and main i have not created for this currency that is not displaying here that's why whenever you want to connect between sheets you have to convert that into uh, tables Fine. Next is you have to create the relationship. How to create relationship? So what we'll do? We'll go here. Here, go to uh, say analyze. Don't uh, drag anything. Just go to analyze. Here I have something called as relationship. Click on this relation. Just click on this. Enough. I'll get one window like this. Here I have this new and auto detect. Suppose if the data is proper if you click on this auto detect all the relationship whatever is there that will get connected otherwise i'll show you with new so that you'll have an idea how actually the uh, relationship is created i'll click on this new here i'll get one table then the column here on which table i'm relating with that column let me select here select the main table and select the column on which you are trying to connect the other table let's say i'm trying to connect the business unit this is business unit let me select here i'll select the branch see that's why i told her, name the table so that it will be easy for me to select here say table branch in this i'll have this unit that means this business unit and the column unit are getting related say fine see i got one relationship and if you see in this table so here we'll have that separator now the separator this branch came to this main table now still you have this department in the separate uh, section here let's go and create one more again select main then now we'll take this department id somewhere we'll have see department i'll go to this department table then select that department id see now if i say okay see this was a different section see now that also came to that section right there is one more table which we need to connect i'll go here say again main then what was that it is account number somewhere yes account number 
the select this account and say account number i'll say okay that means i'm creating the relationship now all the tables are created I mean so the relationship is created you can see that there is no separate section now that means all the sheets have been connected now what i'll do so previously i tried to create one say uh, by department id and then the, the summarized uh, amount for this what we'll do we'll go here instead of going to this main table here taking this department id i can go now and i can take the department name see i'll write it here rose see i'm getting the department name here fine now if from this table i'll take the amount take this amount and i'll put it in values see i'm getting the values here now if you see this only these names say um uh, what is that uh, department names are actually matching with the names what we have here others are actually not there so for the what it is doing it is giving me blank right it is getting connected now you can take any fields and do any calculations or say any kind of reports any slicers like what we did in our previous table here so don't think that this is too advanced it is very much similar to your pivot table what you have created here i have all the four uh, fields here like this you see here page filter column whatever again i have this fields here i'm just dragging and dropping and changing the sum to average or whatever everything is same only thing is here you're trying to create relationship between each sheets to create that relationship so what i have to do is i have to create a table means all the data or the range should be converted into table after converting that into table you have to create the relationship once the relationship is created all the tables are connected now you can go to any table and keep dragging the uh, say details or say the fields and you can create the uh, reports like this see i just took this branch suppose if it was not connected now let me go and you know remove all the relationship i'm just trying to remove the relationship right see here it is not giving me the proper result because it is trying to give the complete total itself if you go and check this let's go and check what will be the total see one two one three six seven four so if you go here see it is just giving me the complete total here but if you had created a relationship what will happen it will have the connection between each records and then i'll be getting the right results got closed sorry got closed okay so sorry it got closed actually something fine but i think you uh, you guys understood so this is how the pivot tables has to be created so there is nothing called as difficulties complex or advanced in pivot tables it is very simple just to summarize pivot tables are nothing but a summarized reports from the raw data for that i can let me just show you i can have a placeholder here i can go to this insert and if i say pivot table then i'll have four different fields here one is page filter column header row header and then value field now if you come to this there are two ways i can create the pivot table one is static and one is dynamic suppose if you want to, if you want to create a pivot table with static just directly go and select the uh, uh, data suppose if you want to make it dynamic then i can go and i can create a table here convert the data into table and then i can create the pivot table so that once the data is getting updated automatically the data will get uh, you know added to the table and then if i say refresh the reports will get refreshed here and then we also saw about how to create this slicer and timeline then we saw about designs that is layouts and we saw about the formats and then we saw how to connect the tables by creating this the relationship and then create the reports okay so this is all what we have for pivot tables